All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Uh, please invite your friends, and don't forget at the end of the video to wait maybe for 20 minutes so the video will be available to, for download, and you can download it and share it wherever you want. Not only share the link. I would like you to download the video, please. Uh, continue with our series about why Jesus was Muhammad. Uh, today, our topic is very, uh, very important. And mostly people don't really uh, take attention for small details, but the fact those small details are big details. Uh, all of us we knew, according to Islam, Muhammad, he became a prophet at the age of 40. If you can, if you don't believe me, you can search right now all Islamic website. All of them, they confirm that Muhammad became a prophet at the age of 40. Same time, the Quran confirmed that Jesus become a prophet at the age of one second if you go in the quran chapter 9 19 verse number 29 you will see how the messiah speak in the cradle announcing that he is a messenger of god i remember here i'm using the quran so the muslims cannot say to me ah we don't believe in this all right so when when the Jews supposedly came to Mary and they asked her how you got the son, which means they're accusing her of being uh, doing adultery, which is false. But because the Quran uh, uh, always is a short uh, is a short of book of everything, uh, because all of us we knew that Mary she was engaged to uh, uh, to a man, and based on the Jewish law, he is her husband. But yet there is no marriage yet. I mean, there is no uh, sexual relationship. So there is no way they will accuse her anyway. Otherwise, she will be stoned. So this is a false statement. However, the Quran confirmed that when the Jews, they came to her and they said to her another mistake in the Quran, O sister of Aaron, and we explained that before because the Quran confirmed that Aaron's father is Umran, and the Quran confirmed that Mary's father is Umran. Both of them have one father, both of them, are considered as uh, brother and sister and we know there is a couple of hundreds of years between Mary the mother of Jesus and Aaron the brother of Moses and that is additional stupid mistake in the Quran but this is not our topic for today so here we see that when they came to ask her about what she have done she said okay talk to him you know she point her finger to talk to him to talk to who to talk to the baby and then he said, the baby, who is the baby in this case, is Jesus. He said, I am indeed the servant of Allah. He has given me the revelation and made me a prophet. And here you need to notice with me that this child is not only talking, saying, I talk. And my mom, she couldn't she commit no sin. Because the point supposedly of this child to speak is to prove that his mother, she is innocent. She commit no sin. But you will notice here this child is announcing that he been given revelation. How Jesus is being given revelation, yet he is he just born. Muhammad took him 40 years to receive revelation, and then he received it in the most funny, stupid way ever you can imagine. As an example, when Muhammad received the chapter of Al-Fatiha, and this is again not my interpretation, not my explanation. This is the book of Asbab al nuzul This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. This website owned by the king of Jordan hmm, himself, who claimed to be from the family of Muhammad, no wonder he's corrupt. And it says here that as an example, when the prophet he received the chapter of Al-Fatiha, each time he went out to do pupu, he heard the calling, which means somebody calling him. Oh, Muhammad. He said, here I am at your service. But this is not what happened right away if we go back a little bit you will see that the messenger of Allah bless him and give him peace whenever he went out he used to hear someone calling him oh Muhammad and whenever he heard this he used to flee so Muhammad now is going out to do poopoo and then he received a call from somebody supposedly this is the angel and while he is doing poopoo, the angel speak to him and Muhammad he flee and his panty between his legs. And then he went to Waraqa bin Nufal and he told him, Waraqa, why you run? Stay in your place and see what he want from you. 
I mean, what kind of a prophet we are talking about? So Jesus, the child, he announced that he is a prophet of God. Muhammad, the man at the age of 40. And by the way, this is the first, not the first verse Muhammad received. So why he's running? He heard the voice of the angel before he spoke to him. The angel actually in different location in the, in the, in the hadith, the angel, he squeezed Muhammad many times. So why Muhammad is scared and ran away? And here Muhammad, when he was squeezed, squeezed, as it says here in the, uh, uh, when he was in the cave, as you see in the front of you, uh, uh, it's uh, again one of the most funny stories. Muhammad was in the cave, a, and a guy came to him. He started squeezing him and saying to him, "Read." And Muhammad he says to him, "I do not know how to read." And then the guy he squeezed him again, and he said to him, "Read." And Muhammad says, "I do not know how to read." And the angel he squeezed him again, and he etc. And each time he he squeezed him until like almost he die. And then we ask the Muslims, "What the point of this conversation? I mean, who is a stupid here, the angel or Muhammad?" Because obviously there's a misunderstanding. If the angel do not do angel, do the angels know that Muhammad do not know how to read? If he knew, why he's asking him to read? And who is the one is talking there, the angel or Allah? Supposedly this is Allah, because this is a verse from the Quran. The angel is just delivering what Allah said. So those are Allah words. How Allah can be the Almighty God, but yet you do not know that Muhammad do not know how to read. And what the point of squeezing him again and repeating again and again and again? And yet Muhammad is still he don't understand to the point even after all the squeezing trying to get the mayonnaise out of him Muhammad he went to his wife and he said to her cover me cover me he was scared like hell and then his wife she took him from his hand as if he's a child to her cousin as you see here he said to her cover me cover me so Muhammad came terrified but he have no idea what's happening so based on this we have a guy who supposedly Allah told him now you are a prophet read in the name of your God But yet he have no idea what's happening and he go to his wife as if he have a fever He's sick cover me cover me. So he she covered him And actually in different hadith says that Muhammad he was making a noise like a camel during that 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 time and then Muhammad he said to her I fear that something may happen to me. So Muhammad he think he's going crazy so if we compare between Muhammad in this stage when he announced or to told by God something and Jesus is speaking in the cradle saying I being given revelation but he is yet one second old how we can explain the madness of Muhammad the fear of Muhammad and the cool child who is not even crying and he is yet a child there is something wrong in the story why Jesus who is a child he is not even crying he is not fearing and where is Jibreel why Jibreel did not came and squeeze Jesus why Jibreel did not came and squeeze Moses what this is squeezing is about and why this guy he is trembling in fear and why he do not know what's happening to him and then Khadija she took him to her cousin and then the cousin of the cousin of the cousin which is not her cousin by the way is the cousin of the cousin of the cousin and I believe he is the real father of Muhammad he told her ah look like this is the angel who deliver messages the, the, the prophet is the last one to know as you see here in the story she took him to, to, to her cousin and he listened to the story and he said to him describe to me what happened he said to him well ah yeah this is the same one uh, who keeps secrets uh, well, what the heck <laughs> So Muhammad until now he do not know he's a prophet. He do not know that this is an angel The the neighbor of the neighbor of the neighbor the cousin of the cousin of the cousin is the one who told Muhammad that this is must be an angel Yet Jesus in the cradle Is a speaking of God and he is a messenger of God announcing That he been given revelation of God when he was in the cradle as you see in the front of you this is both coming from one book the Quran and the hadith both are Islamic books accepted by Muslims and the hadith I'm showing you is a Sahih hadith so the Muslim cannot say it's weak and skinny the game they play always so why Jesus is born with the word of God because when you say that he been given revelation and he is just one second old then that's mean that Jesus is 
born with the word of God how that can be Muhammad took him 40 years and after 40 years we have to squeeze him and freeze him and put mayonnaise in him and not only that Muhammad before he became a prophet Allah he prepared him to be a prophet but supposedly the sur surgery was was later and after he became a prophet which is funny if you remember in the hadith how two angels came to Muhammad and they do a plastic surgery they cut his chest and they install a dish of wisdom and a dish of faith you see here the translation is false they say a wisdom and knowledge doesn't say that it says a dish of wisdom a dish of faith how can how since when God he need to make a plastic surgery for somebody and they open his stomach they insert knowledge and wisdom and faith in his stomach Is that where the, the 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 faith of Muhammad in his stomach? Well, I let me see what I have in my stomach then. So this guy, forty years old, yet he needed a plastic surgery. Yet he have no idea what's happening. Yet he run away each time he go to the bathroom. The angel he cannot wait until this guy, the poor guy, he finish his poo poo. He hear voices, and even Muhammad he confirmed that when he go in the street, he hear the stones saying to him, "Assalamu alaikum." The stone saying assalamu alaikum, yes, that's what Muhammad said, which is proving that Muhammad is mentally ill. In the same time, we have a person who the Quran mentioned, his name is Asa supposedly. This is Jesus, who is born with revelation. Question Why Asa did not need Jibreel to give him revelation? Why he is how he is born with it? Because Muhammad confirmed, even in the hadith, even in the Quran, that the Messiah is the word of God. So he do not need the word of God to come to him. He is the word of God. If you go in the Quran, you will see that the Messiah is the word of God and he is a spirit proceeding from God. That explain why the Messiah do not need to receive the word of God for he is the word of God. And this is confirmed what is written in the Bible about Jesus, that he is the word of God who came to us in the flesh yeah you know we could let us read translation just for fast Jesus the son of Mary is a messenger and he is what and he is his word the word of what the word of God and he is the spirit proceeding from God so Jesus is a three in one and the stupid book the Quran the same verse says say no Trinity the same book it says say no Trinity it confirmed the Trinity you see it say no Trinity do you see the Trinity say no Trinity but yet you confirm it to us by saying that Jesus is the Word of God and he was a man but before he was a man he was a Word of God who was sent down to Mary so the man he became a man after the Word of God came down to Mary and that word have a spirit so the word the spirit the man is a three in one that is Jesus so Jesus before he was born he was the Word of God so he did not receive revelation for he is the revelation for he is the Word of God Jesus did not need a plastic surgery like Muhammad to install a dish of wisdom and faith in his belly as the Muhammad speaking of, him, of himself lying to people which is very funny and you know the funny the Muslim they say to us that Allah is the Almighty God if he want to do something he say be is going to be so why he did not do why he needed to do plastic surgery for Muhammad? What about say, okay, have wisdom? <laughs> what kind of God sending two angels to make a surgery for their prophet? And by the way, was the surgery successful? Absolutely not, because Muhammad he keeps saying the most stupid things ever. As an example, the hadith where Muhammad he, uh, he asked his wives to hide themselves. Why? Because a blind man is coming. So he said, they said to him, why we need to have, uh, you know, uh, 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 to hide ourselves? Uh, you know, he said, so what if he is uh, blind? Uh, you know, they said, well, why, we, why we will hide ourselves when he is blind? He said, I know that he is blind, but are you? <laughs> what are you talking about? This is this is this is after the surgery Muhammad making such a st stupid statement huh 
This is a prophet of God. Let me see if I can find the hadith fast for you. Uh, this website, yeah. Anyway, sometime. Let's see anyway uh, we can we, we showed you the hadith before you know here we go here we go I was with the Messenger of Allah while uh, Maimuna was with him this is the wives of Muhammad speaking when Ibn Ibn Umm Maktoum came this has happened when we were ordered to observe the veil and the Prophet saw the Saul 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 said observe veil observe veil from him we asked the Messenger of Allah <laughs> Isn't he blind? <laughs> he can neither see us or recognize us. The prophet, he said, are you both blind? But all of us, we knew that the women in Islam, they can see men. Wearing the hijab does not forbid women from seeing men. What hijab? They will wear the hijab. They will cover themselves, but still they can see him. So what the point? But now because he was gut busted and he looks stupid, so they said to him, isn't his isn't he blind? So Muhammad didn't want to admit that he is a stupid idiot. So he said, Yeah, he is a blind, but are you? But as we know that the veil does not mean the women she cover her eyes too. She still will be seeing him. So what what the point of those clothes if this guy is blind? So Muhammad after the surgery is more stupid than Muhammad before the surgery. Muhammad before the surgery was the same after the surgery or maybe he was more stupid after the surgery you make a decision Muhammad would wait for 40 years to receive revelation Jesus received revelation from the first day actually he did not receive revelation he is the revelation and this is all from the Quran so my question to the Muslims while Jesus was a prophet of God by birth why Muhammad was suffering from all the stupidity to the point he needed plastic surgery to the point he need to be squeezed three times to the point he flee each time the angel come to him when he want to go to the bathroom why none of the prophet ever suffer with those stupid things except muhammad and remember all of those things is mentioned in your book not in my book and not to forget to mention that the quran confirmed that muhammad was a sinner man chapter 48 verse number two he was a sinner man to the point Allah giving him a license for sin Allah said O Muhammad that may Allah forgive thee for the sin which in the past and which to come but if we go in the in the Quran in the same chapter we are reading from about Jesus we will find that Jesus was born with no sin and he is not a sinner the same chapter we read the chapter 19 verse number 19 it says if we go here, and again, this is a Muslim translation, we go to number, chapter 19, verse 19, it says that the angels came to her and he said, I am here only a messenger to the, from the Lord to announce to thee the gift of the Holy Son. So Jesus is the Holy Son. Muhammad is the sinner in the Quran. Muhammad is the loser in the Quran. Muhammad is the one who needed the plastic surgery in the Quran. Jesus is the one who is born with the word of God. He is the word of God. And even the hadith confirmed, not only the Quran, that he is the spirit of God. And the only one, the Muslims call him Ruhullah, which means the spirit of Allah is Jesus. Muslims don't call Muhammad Ruhullah. They don't call Musa Ruhullah. They don't call uh, Abraham Ruhullah. Only Jesus is Ruhullah, which means the spirit of God and his word. That is my Jesus, who is yours. In your Quran, that is my Jesus. Who is yours, Muslims? You follow a child molester, a criminal, a killer, a thief. Even he flirt with his own son, according to your books, his son wife, while she was married. That is your prophet. And this is my Jesus. Download the video. Share it with your friends, please. We will not keep it there, just to let you know. We will give you 24 hours to download. Share it wherever you want. Download it wherever you want. Otherwise, you will not see it. The only one will be able to see it later is those who they are subscribing in Patreon and that there is a, for, for, for my own reason. I want to be sure that everybody is working with me. I don't want a bunch of lazy around me. I want really Christians. I want a Christian warriors. The one who don't work for Jesus, you don't deserve Jesus. If you don't even dare, if you don't even have time to just download a video and share a video, you are no Christian and you don't belong to him.
time will come and you will be asked the Messiah he will ask you what you did what you did to bring people to me what you will say what you will say Christ is Lord Islam is false and we see you soon again God bless you all